Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. For those of you who are brand new around here and I love to talk all about affordable living and intentional homemaking. So if that is your jam, please consider subscribing if you are new. I like to make videos every single Sunday about those things. Today on the channel, we are gonna take some time to declutter the bathroom. This is an area of the house that I don't take you guys into a whole lot, but it is in desperate need of being decluttered. I need to throw stuff out. I've been holding on to some like beauty and makeup products for far too long that I'd actually like to admit at this point and I just need to go through it all. Also, I'm going to show you a renovation that we did in the bathroom. I absolutely love it. We redid our entire sink vanity. Um, my husband made a brand new sink from scratch out of an antique piece of furniture. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'll also have that how to in this video. So if that is your jam, give this video a thumbs up and let's get into today's video. So before we get into the actual decluttering and organizing of the bathroom and our little mini makeover, I wanted to take a minute to thank Miss Blue for partnering with me today on this video. Miss Blue is a luxury jewelry company that is existing at a fraction of the price of these incredibly overpriced jewelry companies out there. I absolutely adore their mission and their statement of how they were created. They actually came out of that old wedding saying, something old, something new, something borrowed, and something, yep, you guessed it, blue. Now this is straight off their website, but I wanted to include it because it is the beautiful picture of exactly who they are. And it says that the Miss is an empowering title used to honor remarkable and accomplished women across the world. And blue symbolizes the timeless virtue of purity, love, and fidelity. Their focus is really crafting a beautiful moissanite engagement ring, wedding bands, and all sorts of fine jewelry and the reason why they choose to do a moissanite diamond which is a lab grown diamond is because they are all about sustainability that is actually how they decided to really create their company is they wanted to focus on lab tradition and sustainability and in today's mining practices for all sorts of things like diamonds pearls all of that there is just so much waste that's used there are so many labor issues and they wanted to be a part of the solution not the problem. So I love their mission on protecting our environment as well as their gorgeous jewelry. Their jewelry is just absolutely stunning. It really is fine jewelry, like I said, at a fraction of the price. They were lovely enough to send me this gorgeous freshwater pearl half eternity band, as well as these gorgeous freshwater cultured pearl earrings with twisted rope frame. I am somebody who likes to be incredibly understated with my jewelry. And when they reached out to me and wanting to collab on this video, I went straight to their pearl section because I am a huge lover of pearls and I absolutely love these stunning earrings. I love the ring. I am not a huge ring wearer, but the second I saw this ring, I thought it was so incredibly lovely, so understated, so beautiful. So if you are interested in getting your own luxury jewelry from Miss Blue, absolutely click the link below. Go check them out. Their website is huge. It's endless and the jewelry came so quickly. Ordered to size my ring. So wonderful. Definitely check them out and again, and I want to thank Miss Blue for partnering with me today on this video. So starting off in the bathroom, I had to do some just general housekeeping. Usually after the kids have had their bath time, we put all of the toys out on the bath mat to dry out. We also still use this little flower thing that I got for like bathing the babies when they were little. They don't particularly need it at this moment, but it gives a nice mat to the bottom of the tub so they're not like slippy and slidey. So we still use it fairly regularly. And then heading into our closet, we don't have a side closet for our bathroom. The bathroom came with a large standing cabinet as well as some wall cabinetry, and it is all filled to the brim with all sorts of beauty products, which is crazy because that's not even what I do on a regular basis anymore using beauty products on a daily basis yes I do makeup but I don't do a ton of skincare I don't do a ton of makeup and I don't really change my makeup very regularly so all of this stuff really needed to go 
So I wanted to start off by collecting all of the kids' toys, sticking them into a bucket and getting them out of the way so I had a fresh space to kind of work with. Generally, we really like to keep the bathroom clean and organized and picked up, but it is the cabinets that are for sure a piece of work. I wanted to make sure that I went through and got rid of all of the expired products, which trust me, there was a ton. And then I wanted to reorganize because our medications were just kind of all over over the place we had beauty products all over the place my husband had his clippers for his hair and all sorts of things all over so I wanted to kind of put everything into sections so that we could easily find them where they were supposed to be located and definitely for sure the hardest part for me is always going through my makeup products Okay, so this is actually where I'm stuck at the moment, which is why I always have a hard time decluttering. <laughs> Please, somebody say something to me in the comments that will like shake me and get me out of this funk. But I have such a hard time getting rid of things, even if they're probably expired, that I paid a lot of money for. And makeup brands, especially eyeshadow palettes, cost so much money. So then I hold on to them, but like, I really kind of do the same makeup every day at this point in my life. So I don't need like 500 eyeshadow palettes. Is this an issue that you guys go through? Because it's something that I go through, I feel like every single time I'm trying to declutter this stupid bathroom, it consistently happens to me and then I don't wanna get rid of anything. So I'm gonna do my best to kind of sort through, check the dates, if they're like way crazy off, I guess I'll just pass them along. <laughs> I don't even use these. And I'm like, <laughs> just, uh, 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 uh. BT Dubs, these ColourPop guys are amazing. I have them in multiple different palettes and they always have some of the best like color payoff actually what is on my eyes is not a color prop but just in general they have some of the best color payoff and they're so inexpensive because they're kind of considered like uh what is that like drugstore brandy not like fancy brand expensive brand but i love these these are great i did eventually dwindle down to a very small amount of palettes and then I kind of wanted to take a bunch of the shampoos and conditioners and downsize them into larger containers. I have this one shampoo bottle that has a pump attached to it. So usually when I get smaller bottles in, I then fill up the larger pump. It's so much easier in the shower. And I like to do that to kind of downsize so we don't have a ton of bottles lying around in our cabinetry. Like I said earlier, I really kind of wanted to downsize into sections or organize into sections because I had things sort of all over the place. At one point, all of this stuff was organized and in a nice order, but as we add things, as things get collected over time, they just sort of get thrown in there sort of willy-nilly and then I have all this stuff and I don't really know what to do with it. This lovely thing right here. Um, this is filled with samples. This is filled with samples that one day I was going to try. And here we are years and years later and still filled with samples. Guys, does anybody else like this? Please let me know in the comments. Please let me know I'm not the only one who holds on to everything like a little pack rat. Yeah, so pretty much I am expecting that the majority of this will need to be thrown out, which is fine because then I can use this for 
housing maybe some of our medication that we had up here, some other things in here, and that'll be super helpful for kind of clearing out the entire space. Please tell me that I am not the only one who holds on to all of the things that either come in the mail or I've gotten samples from Ulta over the years that have maybe come with a larger bit that I've purchased and I've always thought to myself, yes, I'm definitely going to use this. If this is you, take it from me. You probably won't unless it's something you've been dying to try for a really long time and you put it on your to-do list to try that thing immediately. It's probably not worth it. Just get rid of it. That's pretty much what I did at this point. I've been holding holding on to these simples for an embarrassingly um, long amount of time. I got a lot of these back in the day when I used to have a, I forget what it was called, like a, like a birch box. Yeah, I think that's what it was called. Birch box, birch box subscription and I put all of them into this lovely little organizational cabinet thinking yes I will definitely try all of these samples and it just didn't happen so if it's not something that you're going to use or you're not going to use it right away either don't take it don't buy it or don't hold on to it it is such a waste of space but I was so excited to kind of get through this entire cabinet and then have space for things like medicines that I wanted to keep in there this little pull drawer cabinet thing was wonderful. And then I had a whole bunch of hair products that I, again, have been holding on to forever. And a lot of them aren't even ones that I liked. I just had them, so I kept them. You know the drill. So I got rid of the majority of it. I kept my towels on one level, my drugs and toothpaste on another level, and then my beauty products on the bottom. And then swinging around to the other like higher cabinet again this was an issue I was holding on to perfumes and lipsticks and nail polishes forever that, like, brings me, this brings me back to high school this is the smell of high school Honestly, the crazy thing is, is I don't even really use like perfumes and body sprays anymore. Ever since I got pregnant and started having children, I just didn't like it on me, especially like on my chest with nursing. I just didn't want all that fragrance to be around them. If it does not smell right anymore, it probably needs to go. So it was fairly simple to kind of go through all of these items. A lot of the fragrances I hadn't even touched, like never used them at all. So we're going to be having a yard sale in the coming weeks. I'll probably put a lot of that stuff with the yard sale. Things that I could, I gave to Goodwill because I love being able to do that. And if it was just a really awful expired product, smelled or anything like that, I just threw it in the trash. I just had to get rid of it. Now moving on to our little mini remodel. We decided to redo this vanity that was in our bathroom. It was originally just such a mess. It was like a Home Depot special, probably something super cheap that the previous owners had purchased and they painted it the color of the bathroom. It wasn't terrible when we moved in, but over the years, the sink actually ended up having a leak, which then damaged the drawers. They swelled and we couldn't get them in and out anymore. So it was really just a cabinet door with no drawers on the side. It really needed to go. It got chipped up and all of those things. So my husband decided to take it apart and we decided instead of purchasing a sink my husband made one from scratch now I want to start off by saying that this is not a tutorial video if you were on this video section part wanting to know all of the things that he did to make this sink a reality I am so sorry I am not the right person for the job I could probably have had him come along and explain to me exactly what he did but for me I'm kind of like unhook the doodad and flip the the whoozy whatsy and uh, stick a towel where you know things were draining and whatnot that is the most information you're going to get out of me but he did a ton of research on a bunch of different youtube videos and he got this cabinet to line up perfectly with our existing 
water mains, which was so wonderful. One of the things that I wasn't really thinking about when we were looking in cabinetry was exactly where we were gonna need to place it because the cabinets needed to come exactly where that existing door was. Now we bought this beautiful antique cabinet. I think it was for, I wanna say $40, my husband found it. I'm not sure if it was at a yard sale or Facebook Marketplace or something like that. It just needed a little TLC, so he popped out the bottom of the cabinet door, the floor there, and he added some new wood that we already had just hanging out in our basement. And then he reinforced the bottom of the cabinet by adding some extra plywood and an extra leg to hold all of the weight. I know that, nope, I couldn't even tell you what this thing is. This is a special drill thingy where the holes, yeah, Listen, I told you I'm not the one to explain all of this. My husband filmed all of this for me while he was putting it together. But this was such a simple and easy flip for him. He literally did it in, I believe, about two or three days. And the only reason why it took him that long is because he needed to disconnect everything and figure out how all the pipes kind of reconnected together and whatnot. He's kind of a master craftsman at all of these things. He's actually rebuilt a sink for me before down in our laundry room. He put together a gorgeous sink down there. So I knew that he would have the capability of doing that, but I know for sure one of the things that he said was super important was reinforcing the bottom so that when we had the bowl on top the sink and the piece held very strongly he then cut a hole at the top for the sink bowl to go he then also cut another hole for the faucet to go and he used a very strong adhesive glue to go around the bottom to make sure that they were glued in place and the pipe then fit just like it had before right into the existing hole and i could not love this entire piece more we got the sink off of Amazon for $139 and I will have it linked below. And the faucet we actually found again on either Facebook Market or eBay. We're really big into all of those things. So I love how this sink came out. It looks absolutely stunning. I'm so grateful that you joined me today, my friends. Make sure that you go to Miss Blue to get 15% off of your order from them. They are seriously such a lovely company and I will see you guys next Sunday for another new video. Have an amazing week, my friends. Bye.